Yeah. No, there's no place like home for the swag. In particular, Grambling University. I'm sorry, I'm a little late on this one. I should have not overlooked the fact that Grambling leading in, in the SWAC, six and three, with wins at Colorado, wins at UTSA. They lost a home game against UI, uh, UIW. They won a home game against Dartmouth. And then went ahead and blew out the Carter Ward. Before, of course, going on the road and beating Van. Now, this right here is a very impressive schedule, very impressive wins. Because we all know when it comes time for March Madness, the committee loves to put HBCUs at 16 seeds. With wins at Vandy, at Colorado, two quote unquote Power Five, at UTSA, and Group of Five. On the rise, it's all in Grambling's hands right now. Now, I'm not going to say they're going to win the damn title. I'm not going that far. But I am saying, if they can go through a uh, swag season, one or two things can happen this year. Either we get more than one HBCU from the swag in the tournament, or one of the schools that gets in will not be a 16 seed. We're trying to shoot for a 12 and above to see if we can get there. It's nothing but a G thing right now for Grambling. Can they actually perform in the end of the pack like they've been doing so far? It looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, Cameron's going to have to lead the way what he did against Dartmouth and Cohart with 18 points against uh, Carter Ward. It's looking good. The SWAC this year has more wins than the Power Fives. Than they ever have. Keep up the good work. Coach Simmons, maybe I have to get out there to Grambling, Louisiana. Good luck coming up against Virginia Tech, Liberty, and Wisconsin. Rooting for you. Mount.